Hi, hello, how are you, Amanda, Saint Artist? We're gonna do our eyes today and I'm gonna use a combination that I played around with and I forgot how much I love it. Boom. Okay, we've got Drift, always and forever. I have Tawanda, this is a fun shimmer. I also have Sedona, I've been loving playing with Sedona Oak and then I've got Salem. I'm gonna be using my BK Beauty brushes because I've been challenged with with small hooded eyes to use brushes that will work for small hooded eyes. So this is another one. And it was also Sedona that I did this with yesterday. And we're gonna give it a try again. So these are different brushes than I was using the other day. This is my favorite brush. This is BK Beauty 203. I love this brush. I would say that's my favorite for small hooded eyes. I say it's good for my eyes, I like it. But we're gonna use essentially the eyeshadow brush in small form. You guys told me this brush is too big. So these are for small hooded eyes. They are specific BK Beauty small hooded eye brushes. I am going to be using this smaller brush 207, the bigger fluffy brush 202, and I love this angle brush for making a little cute wing for hooded eyes, which are very hard to do. This is so extra small and it's 208. First things first, I'm going to prep my lids. I'm gonna take the blend brush, I'm gonna grab my Versailles and I'm gonna put this on from lash to brow. This is a very light layer, light, light, light layer. This is a veil amount. It's most certainly even less than what I put on my face, but this is just to cancel out the discoloration. And then I'm gonna to go to my vanilla dust setting powder and I'm going to set it. And this is gonna keep it from creasing. And this is also gonna create the perfect blending surface. I say that every time, but you never know who's here for the first time. Say hi. <laughs> All right, the first color I'm gonna go into is always going to be Drift. And it's a shimmer and I use this to highlight my brow. So if you have hooded eyes, I recommend doing this first every time. We're just gonna tap this on and I'm using the fluffy brush. Again, that is number, I'm gonna try to say them every time, 202. I do this first because when you're hooded, you want to have your transition colors, any of your colors really, above your crease and on your brow bone. So if you do this part last, you're gonna compromise those colors. You're gonna push them down, which is also gonna push your hood down. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. All right, the next color I'm gonna go into is Sedona. I'm gonna use this fluffy brush and I'm gonna push this on. I will say these brushes do pick up the color very well. I always start on the outside of my eye and then I rest it. You want it to be up out of the crease, out of the hood. So I'm resting my eyes, looking all angry, like I got a bad attitude, but I don't. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Oh, gosh, I have, I've spent a lot of time convincing my husband it's just my face. It is what it is. Okay, grabbing a little bit of that Sedona again, and I'm just going to go from that dot, and I'm going to work my way up and over, and I'm really just living on that brow bone, and I go to the fat part of my brow. So this big fat part, I don't go in farther. I really focus on blending up and out on the outside to give my eye lift and to hide the fact that my eyes are really hooded. Adding this color just gives the illusion that your eyes aren't as hooded as they potentially are. Once this is blended where I want, I take what's left on the brush and I push it down just above that crease, just like that. Look at how pretty Sedona is all by its darn self. It's super pretty. It's a really great warm tone that's great as a transition color. Grabbing some more, I'm gonna do the same thing over here, making that dot on the outer corner. And then I raise my brows just to stretch out that, that real estate that, a peop if you're limited on your real estate between you, on your hood, raise your eyebrows. I can only close this eye. So using my eyebrows is really key. I also use a mirror, so I'm not gonna lift it with my eye, but I just lift my brows and windshield wiper it. If you have mature lids and there's a lot of movement, tap it. Really easy, but I really focus it on the outer bone area of your brow. And then once you've gotten it blended to where you want, push it down just a little bit and that's it. So this is such a pretty color on its own. If you're looking for a one, one color look, Sedona. Sedona and Cupcake. If you don't want any shimmer, grab Cupcake. If you have a little bit more of a deeper skin tone, Pup is great. I don't know what other one. Valencia is also very popular. I don't use Valencia very much. It's a little too on the yellow side for me, but that's just a personal preference of mine. Do whatever you want. 
I'm gonna take a little more Sedona and I'm gonna go under my eyes. I want a light transition color and I'm gonna to try to press this. Actually, let's use the small end. Grabbing a little bit of Sedona and I'm gonna go under and I'm gonna just really lightly go all the way across. This is, again, I'm using it as a transition color for my lower lashes. Grabbing it and I'm gonna go up to meet where the top Sedona is, like that. Isn't that, I love the way it defines an eye by doing that. So bringing it from that outer corner and then bringing it up. So matching that lower lash line up to that top brow bone. It just defines the eyes in just a really beautiful way. All right, we're gonna go in and switch back to the fluffy end of the 202 brush. I'm gonna go into Oak. I am going to go on this outer corner and I'm going to press onto my brow bone and outer corner. This is just adding a little bit of definition and then I'm gonna push it onto the lower part of that brow bone. If you have small real estate, you can absolutely skip this part or switch to the small brush, go into Oak, and you just go onto that outer, go outside of the outer corner above the corner. Does that make sense? So right here, and then you're just pushing in on that lower part of the brow bone and in, that's it. Grabbing it and you just want a little bit of that lid, but really pushing that on that outer part. There we go. All right, I'm gonna take my finger. Oh wait, I want a little on the underneath. Grabbing it, I'm gonna grab some of that oak and on the outer quarter, we're gonna go right here. Over here, we're gonna go right here on the outer quarter, just deepens things. This is what takes me to a date night, a smoky eye, is oak. Oak is my jam on what really sets it apart. People were saying that I did some sultry look. Honestly, I just took oak from the top and moved it to the bottom. That was it. That was the only difference that I made. Okay, taking Tawanda, and I'm gonna put this on the outer mid to outer lid, like that. It's such a pretty color. Same thing over here, mid to outer, like that. Then I'm gonna grab Drift, and I'm gonna go on the inside. I like a lighter color on my inner lid. I think it makes my eyes look more open but I still have that pink tone. I'm gonna to take that fluffy end and I'm just gonna sweep it and kind of merge them all together. It's so pretty. I want a little more pink here and here. And then we're just gonna sweepy, sweep, sweep. That's that. I'm gonna take my little angle brush. These are great brushes. I will say for small hooded eyes, I still think this is too big. I do, that's my personal preference and I don't even have, people who have small hooded eyes tell me I don't. But I will I will say, I feel like this is bigger than the eyeshadow brush. I think it is. So if you were me, I just, to me they look the same. They're a little bit of a different shape whereas this one comes out and has more of a rounded dome. This one is more longer and the dome is shorter. I still think that this is too big for small hooded eyes and this, I think it's the same. But if you have small hooded eyes after using this, this is the first time I've used this brush because I've been in love with this one. 203 is by far because it has this fat end so you can go across with a fat end. But if you have small, even smaller real estate, turn it to the side where it's thin and work that across. So you can get a lot more action out of the 203 brush in my opinion. But this one right here, this tiny little ankle brush is so good for making a wing, tap, tap, tap. You don't want excess black. And then I just wing it. And then I bring it into the lash line a little bit. I don't make a big wing. I don't want it to be super dramatic. I just, I feel like it changes the shape of my eye in a way that I like. And then I add a little bit to the inner lash line right there. And that's it. It's so good. Okay, tappy tap tap, wing it. It's just little little flicks, just like that. And that's it. That is it. Oh, get that inner line. I think it just gives your eye a little more definition. I don't know, that's just me. But that's the eye look, super simple. 
but I wanted to give something a little more, I don't know, I wanted to do something different. I always like to do different things. I like to try different colors. I have my favorites, but who would I be as an artist if I just did the same thing every time? Bird just flew up to my window. But, <laughs> but that's it. That's the eye look. I really like it. Have a great day.